Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video we are going to see about Viterbi algorithm. So this Viterbi algorithm is related to the convolutional chords. We can uh, decode convolutional chords with the help of this algorithm code Viterbi algorithm. And for decoding purpose it is using the diagram called trellis diagram. So in the previous video of convolutional chords we have discussed how to draw the trellis diagram of convolutional chords and we using that, con uh, that trellis diagram we are going to perform the Witterby decoding. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see how to perform the decoding using Witterby algorithm and in which we will be using the same trellis diagram we have used in the previous video or we have drawn in the previous video. Okay, so, so in this video, we are going to discuss about the Witterby algorithm. So first, let's see what all things we have to perform in order to uh, decode a convolutional code with the help of Witterby algorithm or Witterby decoding. The first thing you have to do is draw the trellis diagram for the given chord okay so this is the first thing which you have to do so how to draw a trellis diagram i have explained in the previous video and with that trellis diagram only i am going to perform the decoding okay so the first step is to draw the trellis diagram then the second step it is actually a very important step the second step is to find the minimum distance path. Okay, so consider that you are going to receive a chord word 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So you have to compare each of these chord bits that is 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0 by giving these two the various levels of the trellis diagram and find the minimum distance path. You have to compare the harming distance of these chord bits with each of the branch output. So, when a trellis diagram you are drawing, so there will be A, B, I am just drawing a rough. Okay. So, there will be these arrows, you can call it as branches and there will be some outputs written on it, right? can be uh, 0, 1 and 1, 1 likewise. So you have to take these chord bits and you have to compare it with these 0, 1 and 1, 1 and you have to find the hamming distance or the number of uh, bit difference between these uh, these two chords that is the 0, 1 and 0, 1 and then 1, 1 and 1, 1 and then you have to find the minimum distance path. Okay. So consider that your received chord word is having 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1. This much is your chord word. So, you have to form a trellis diagram with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 levels. Okay. So, you have to form a trellis diagram with 5 levels. If your trellis diagram is only having 4 levels, means repeat one more level by just drawing, by just repeating the previous level. It is whatever you have drawn in the fourth level, you are going to draw in the fifth level also. And thus you can extend your trellis diagram. Okay. And hence you have to find the minimum distance path for by covering all these five levels. And hence you will get your code word. That is hence you can decode your code word. That is the Witterby algorithm statement and that is called Witterby decoding. Okay, so what all things we are going to draw, do here is first we will be drawing the trellis diagram. Then we will be finding the minimum distance path from that trellis diagram. Now till the drawing of trellis diagram I have explained in my previous video. In this video what I am going to do is only take that trellis diagram which I have drawn in the previous video and I am going to perform the Witterby algorithm or Witterby decoding in it. Okay, for a particular received code word and hence I am going to show you how to find the minimum distance path and how to decode your code word and all. Okay. So, let's see the trellis diagram and how to find the minimum distance path. Okay. So, now we are going to see how the Viterbi algorithm or Viterbi decoding is actually performed with the help of this trellis diagram. Okay. So, the received sequence is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 and then 0, 0. So, 2, 2 bits we are actually going to decode. Okay, this is a 2, 1, 3 convolutional chord and its trellis diagram is present. So, we are actually going to 
decode two two bits okay on each level and here there is again a zero zero so we have to repeat the trellis diagram one more level okay so first i'm going to repeat the trellis diagram for one more level so we just have to repeat this that's it okay so i'm going to draw the states a b c and d yeah then just draw this transitions okay only that much you have to do so here zero zero then when you're receiving a one you move to one one so the uh, drawing of the trellis diagram we have explained in detail in the previous video so if you don't know how to draw the trellis diagram please do watch the previous video from b you are receiving a zero means you move to c you are receiving a one means you move to d the outputs is one zero and zero one from state c when you receive a one you move to sorry when you receive a zero you move to a your output is one one then when you receive a one you move to b output is zero zero from state d when you receive 0, you move to C, output 0, 1. When you receive 1, you move to same level, which is D, which is 1, 0 as output. So, this is your complete trellis diagram for all these 5 levels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 levels. Now, we are going to perform the decoding. Okay. How to perform the decoding is by taking the hamming weight and finding the minimum, minimum weight path okay or minimum distance path okay so this is your chords which you have to compare with the various outputs in various branches and you have to find the minimum hamming distance path so how to do it let's see first take this chord 0 1 or this uh, two bits you have to combine uh, you have to compare it with these two branches in this branch your output is 0 0 in this branch your output is 1 1 so, what will be the hamming weight when you travel this path? Hamming weight is the difference in bit positions. 0, 0 here. Here it is 0, 1. So, what is the difference in bit position? It is 1. So, when you take this path, your hamming distance is 1. When you take this path, your hamming distance is, again, what is the difference in bit between these two uh, these two numbers 1 1 and 0 1 again 1 right so both are same then now let's take this second level you have to decode 1 0 just compare with all the three all the four branches with the outputs find the shortest distance path that is your aim okay so just compare 1 0 with 0 0 what is the hamming weight it is 1. So, when you are moving in this direction, your total hamming weight at this point will be 1 plus 1. That is, when you compare 1, 0 with 0, 0, your hamming weight is 1. And when you are taking this path, total hamming weight will be, when you reach here, it will be 2. Okay. Just like this, you have to go on comparing. Once you do a little bit, you will get an idea because when you go down, you will get larger hamming distance and you don't have to follow the, those paths. Your aim is to find the path with the minimum hamming distance. Okay, so let's do for these three branches. 1, 0, compare with 1, 1. What is the bit difference? There is one bit difference. So, 1 plus 1. And you are getting 2 hamming distance when you follow this path. Okay, then 1, 0 with 1, 0. Hamming distance is 0. So, when you are following this path, your hamming weight here will be 1 again because here the bit is exact 1, 0 and 1, 0. Okay. Then, when you are uh, following this path, that is you move here and then you come here, what is the, the difference or the hamming difference? Bit difference is 0, 1 and 1, 0 means hamming difference or bit difference is 2. So, total hamming weight is 1 plus 2 is 3. So, you don't have to go for this path because it will go, it will make your hamming distance more. You have to find the shortest path. So, we will actually follow this path. 
because 1 and 1 here that is if you take this path till this you are having distance or the weight is only 1 now but these two path are having weight 2 bit difference is 2 to each so till now this is your shortest path okay now we will do for this level okay so 1 1 compare with 0 0 what is the bit difference it is 2 both the difference are sorry both the bits are different only so total hamming weight if you follow this path will be 2 plus 2 is 4 okay that is too much you can't go in this path then 1 1 with 1 1 hamming distance bit difference is 0 so 0 plus 2 if you move in this direction hamming distance is 2 then here 1 1 with this branch I am talking about this branch okay here also 1 1 here also 1 1 what is the hamming or the bit difference it is 0 okay so it the bit difference is 0 and if you take this path what is the total hamming distance coming here it will be 1 plus 0 again 1 so now we are actually about to find our shortest or the minimum weight path okay so here it is 1 and if you calculate for all the other branches the hamming weight so what you have to actually do is you have to take your received bit combination and you have to compare with all the branches you have written output on all the branches right you have to compare with it you have to you have to count the bit uh, differences that is if 1 1 and uh, 1 0 is taking there is a bit difference of 1 bit okay so that is taken as a hamming distance and you have to take the sum of hamming distances when you follow a path okay so here till this if you follow this path your hamming distance is only one but for all the other paths if you examine it will be more than one your aim is to find the minimum distance path okay now we'll uh, proceed in this direction take the zero zero and compare with 0, 0. What is the hamming or the bit difference is 0. So, again, if you move in this direction, the hamming distance is 1. Okay. Then, again, take 0, 0, compare with 0, 0. There is no bit difference. So, the hamming distance is again 1. Okay. So, the bit difference you are having when you are following this path is 1 only. That is hamming distance is 1. Now I am going to highlight my path which I am going to take. That is the minimum distance path which I have found that I am going to highlight. Okay. This is my path. Here, then here, then here and then here. So this is the path which I have found. So, I have followed this path. My hamming distance here is 1. Then, again I have travelled in this direction. Again the hamming distance is 1 because the bits here are exactly the same. Then, I have travelled in this direction. Again the hamming distance if I compare is this 1. Then, I am taking this direction and then I am here. And my output is received. Sorry, my output comparison is actually completed. Now, I am going to write the outputs which I have written on these branches. Okay, so I will write it below this code. Here, when I travel this path or when I am traveling in this direction, my output is 1, 1. Okay, then if I take this path, my output is 1, 0. Then if I take this direction, my output is 1, 1. Then here I am traveling, my output is 0, 0. This also 0 0 so just this is the the 
the code which I have written in the black color is actually my received code and the code which I have written in the green color is the decoded code where I have decoded or where, where I have performed decoding with the help of a trellis diagram by applying the Viterbi algorithm. So according to the Viterbi algorithm your aim is to find the path from the trellis diagram which is having minimum bit difference or minimum Hamming distance. So for that you have to divide your code word and give to each path or each levels and just compare your received code bit with your branch output and you have to find the minimum distance path. Okay. So this is what you are doing in the Viterbi algorithm. So here if you analyze there is a one bit difference here but all the other bits are exactly same 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so this much is entirely the same and there is only error in one bit which is this 0 this was 1 1 this was 0 1 so only one bit error and also if you see here what is the Hamming distance it is only one that is this path distance is indicating that there is only a difference of one bit from the received bit pattern or the code pattern okay so thus you have decoded your code but then you are you can apply the error correcting methods for correcting this one bit error okay so this is how you perform the Viterbi algorithm and it is performed with the help of a trellis diagram so if you know how to draw a trellis diagram then it is easy for you to study the Viterbi algorithm okay so I really hope that you understood the concept of Viterbi algorithm and how it is decoded or how it is done with the help of trellis diagram if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching